Top tips for avoiding tantrums whilst out and about with toddlers. Now, small disclaimer, of course, we cannot avoid all tantrums. And to be completely honest with you, we should not even attempt to. However, that is a topic for a separate video. So drop me a note in the comments if you want to hear more. Tip one is all about perspective. Now, of course, you're not going to be at the zoo every day. But generally speaking, your perspective is very different to that of your toddlers. So if they're getting frustrated and a bit fidgety in there, bugging, you can't get them out, drop to their level, offer them some eye contact, high quality attention, even just for 10 seconds and you can prevent some of that attention-seeking behavior. Tip two, wherever humanly possible, allow them just to have a little bit of control and a bit of sway in terms of the direction you travel or, I don't know, a choice. They are developmentally geared up to have an impact on the environment, and sadly, if they don't get opportunities to do so, they will become balls of frustration, and boy, will you know about it. Tip three here is the transition, when you have to leave something that they don't want to do making it smoother for them. So we made a big song and dance about saying goodbye to the bears because that was fun. Tip four, you're not going to like it, buckle up. <laughs> but generally speaking, I try to eat the exact same foods as them because it creates that sense of teamwork. Now, tip five, get them involved. Give them a job that makes them feel empowered. She was thrilled when I asked her to put her own rubbish in the bin. It showed her I had faith in her. And let me tell you, that goes a very long way. Now, tip six, important one don't ever try to just put something off because you think they'll cry she didn't want to go home but you know what we had to go home it was nap time so don't put off the jobs just because they may cry so your child starts here they're fine happy-go-lucky playing or watching the tv whatever they're doing everything's hunky-dory then there's a trigger something that sets them off then to the bargaining stage and this is where they start to up volume levels slightly they're starting to get a little bit testy they're trying to get rid of this trigger that started and if that trigger doesn't dissipate they're going to reach the escalation phase this is where we must buckle up the volume is loud where there might be some kicking some screaming some slamming the acceptance stage now this is where they start figuring out that you know life is not so tough after all we're still a little bit <laughs> a little bit sad but we're getting there and then slowly but surely we make it down to the detachment stage and that my friends is where your little tinker has gone from absolutely having the most horrendous life-altering shattering <laughs> tantrum to playing with their teapot if while your child is in this escalation phase, if you immediately change that trigger, so whether it be they wanted a snack, they wanted the TV on, they wanted their iPad, whatever it is, if you remove the frustration or the negative emotion by giving in, your child will constantly go from trigger, bargaining, escalation. This will be the only side of that stage, of that cycle that you live on. If in the escalation phase you support, stand true to your ground, your child is going to be able to learn to come through these stages much quicker and they'll become less and less frequent.